The first concept of physics for the string cannon would be resistive forces. The two resistive forces are air resistance and friction. These forces slow down the velocity of the ball. The parts of the spring cannon that have friction forces are located at the head of the spring and between the rod and the end cap of the tube. Another resistive force is air resistance. As there is air resistance present due to the tennis ball's semi-large surface area, these two resistive forces slow down the speed of the projectile or the tennis ball in this case. Now the next physics concept is the principle of conservation of mechanical energy, and it's quite simple. As we shoot an object at an angle into the air, the object moves at a trajectory with vertical components differing and the horizontal components identical. The green arrow represents the vertical component and the blue represents the horizontal. Now notice the first green arrow is the same as the last green arrow. They're equal to each other. This is due to the conservation of mechanical energy. The equation for this phenomenon is K1 plus UE1 equal K2 plus UE2. Now observe this spring, it has no force applied. But for this spring, force is applied in the amount of delta X. The potential energy for the spring is 1 half K times X squared. As X squared goes up, the potential energy goes up as well. The final physics concept is Hooke's Law. Hooke's Law states that the force of a spring is equal to negative K delta X, where K is the spring constant and delta X is the change in the distance that the spring is being compressed or stretched in relation to its natural length. So when you have a spring at its natural length and there is an applied force on that same spring, then the force required to stretch or compress the spring is proportional to the displacement of the spring from its natural length where the restoring force of the spring is equal in magnitude but in opposite direction of the applied force.